Good morning. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a good week. Training hard. I think it's regionals weekend this week. Which, uh, yeah, so hopefully if you're racing there, you, you swim fast. I won't be there. I'm in... Uh, I'm going to be going to Carrow Road to watch Norwich last game of the season. So, it should be pretty cool. I got back in training this week. Um, kind of putting things in place now to, to rewrite the wrongs of trials, which is which is um, not yet fully, fully exciting, but it feels like I've got so much room to, to go into, which, uh, which means when you see me race in the summer, it ought to be something, something actually good. Um, but here we're, we're going to do something slightly, uh, not necessarily different, but a little bit more of an education today. So we're talking about sodium bicarbonate. Now, you may have heard um, people talk about bicarb in the past, um, either either people that you know who are swimmers. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the, the last video before trials. Um, I've seen a few other videos where athletes kind of mention it in passing. And uh, so I thought I would, I would give a, a bit, yeah, like I say, like an education really just on what is bicarb, uh, what's the point, and kind of how do we use it. So... Sodium bicarbonate, really simple, just the same sodium bicarbonate you get from, from the supermarket, really. Um, there are some brands that, that sell it properly um, and have maybe a mechanism for for eating it, but I'll go very simple, supermarket, uh, sodium bicarbonate, and I've got a, uh, like a, um, a capsule filling machine or filling apparatus. It's all manual. It's not properly a, a machine. I'm the machine using the uh, equipment uh, just to make it convenient because it tastes absolutely disgusting. So the idea is that you you take your sodium bicarbonate and when you race, you produce lactic acid and the alkalineness of the um, sodium bicarbonate counters, neutralizes the acidity of that lactic acid and then you don't feel that burn so you're able to keep pushing for longer and so you swim faster. Now, we're going to be looking at a uh, reference sheet here, and this is um, basically just from a from a literature review. There are a lot of words on here, so uh, don't worry about deciphering all that. We've got a few key points, really, and, and we'll kind of go through them in turn. And this is from the International Society of Sports Nutrition, um, which I think is, from, from then what I was reading, is the basically gold standard of nutrition in the world, kind of that, it's that kind of top level of uh, trust and up to date. So the first part is very long, point one, um, but it basically just says that it helps in swimming. <laughs> That's it. Helps in swimming uh, for activities of high intensity that last between 30 seconds and 12 minutes. So, which kind of makes sense, don't it? If we're using it to buffer lactic acid, we need to be in an event where we're producing lactic acid, which is anything really over 30 seconds. Um, we have our lactate threshold is a 30 to 45 second intensity. So it means really then in swimming terms that we're probably looking at 100 and above, probably not really that useful for a 1500 or any open water, but anything between that 100, 200, 400, 800. Point two says that uh, sodium bicarbonate improves performance in single and multiple bout exercise. So that, that just means that... Um, we really in swimming have one, we have one swim, but if you had uh, a thing where you had rounds, so say you're going to race in, in skins, something like that, it would mean then that you would still get the effect as you went through the rounds, which again kind of makes sense if it's going to be a 12 minute thing, those those bouts tend to be pretty close together. The third one then just says, really simple, it just says it affects men and women, so it's not it's not like women should avoid it or uh, only women should take it or only men should take it, whatever. It's anybody. But I would add, add to that, I only took it for the first time when I was 19. Um, you probably really ought to wait till you're an adult, mainly because phys physiologically, you're probably not producing loads of lactic acid when you're um, still developing, still going through puberty. You're not, you've, your body's not necessarily matured enough. So... Um, but yeah, it helps both men and women. So four, again, is a long one, um, but it just talks about the dose. So it says that the minimal effective dose is 0.2 grams per kilogram. So if I weigh 
100 kilos, I would need 20 grams to get any effect. If I take 18 grams, I'm probably not going to feel the effects, or I'm not going to feel the effects of that in the race. But it also says it can go up to 0.5 grams per kilo. So that would be me taking 50 grams instead. Um, but it actually says then that the, the sweet spot seems to be 0.3 grams per kilo. So for me, about 30 grams. Uh, and that's interesting because it says that uh, 0.2 grams per kilogram has an effect. 0.3 is kind of the optimal. And then anything beyond that doesn't necessarily uh, improve your lactate buffering. But it may cause, because you're adding this um, into your body, it may cause more like intestinal stress, your guts might be a bit all over the place. And if you have uh, ever tried bicarb, it's uh, it can be a bit uh, funny on your stomach. So it's one of them that it's always worth trying it before you go into your race because if, if suddenly you're running off to the toilet five minutes before your race, obviously that's that's not, not going to be ideal. Um, so yeah, up to 0.3 grams per kilo. Uh, number five then is just about timing. So it says we we feel the effects anywhere between 60 minutes and 180 minutes, so between one and three hours. So when I've used it for racing, I do it about two and a half hours um, before. So I would eat about three hours before, and then while that carbohydrate is still, and, and well, protein, but mainly the carbohydrate is still sitting in your stomach, like that, um, I've heard as well, the carbohydrate helps to, um, settle settle it into your stomach a little bit more um, than if you're having it just on its own. So I do two and a half hours before before racing, and then the last point point uh, six <coughs> says that if we uh, that we could actually use it, load it in the days leading up to the competition, um, and then we could so we could start if we race on Friday we could start anywhere from three to seven days. And we'd get that loading effect for race day. Um, see, I I went through a phase. I went through a week of trying it every day. I did at the upper limit of this. So I think this was only presumably only tested with uh, 0.4 to 0.5 grams per kilo. So I tested this with 40 grams a day, and I hated it. My my stomach was always out here, just just bloated and and minging really um so i knocked that on the head for yeah and for no obvious training benefit i wasn't suddenly wow I've some amazing at the end of this week it was like oh, i just feel dread dreadful so um maybe that's one to play around with but that's not really something i'm too too interested in uh and i think that's it really so they were our six points and for you if you just want the kind of the headlines to to take away I would say it's uh, use it for 100 metres and above events. If you're, um, let's say if you're an adult, just to be just to be safe. Um, dosing 0.3 grams per kilo seems to be the best. And then consuming it between one and three hours before you race. There are three key points probably about bicarb. And like I say, I just use normal supermarket sodium bicarbonate. Really simple. Just check on the ingredients that it is only, that's the only ingredient. Sometimes they put in like a, whatever it might be, cake and agent or something that you're not aiming for. Um, so just check that. Um, you can just put it in water, drink it. You can, I just ugh, heaved thinking about that. Um, you can just take it into your mouth, drink it. I did that before, uh, before I went 49 short course at, at Derby and then <laughs> threw up all over my mum and dad's kitchen. So um you gotta be a little bit careful with it. Um but yeah, that'll do from me. So if you're interested in any mentoring, any race analysis, uh, any online coaching, go to my website, jingramswimming.com. Uh, any supplements are available on applied nutrition. You can use Jingram for 20% off. And uh, I think that'll do. And uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've found it useful. Hope you've learned something and I'll see you next time. Cheers.